Hey there, how's it going everybody? In this video, we're gonna be learning how to install Kali Linux on VirtualBox. Uh, Kali Linux is a distribution designed for penetration testing, hacking, forensics, and things like that. So getting this distribution installed within VirtualBox will be a good starting point for us to dig further into some of these features in future videos. So first we'll need to download and install VirtualBox. Now this is pretty straightforward, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail here. If you just do a quick search on Google for VirtualBox, then it should take you to the downloads page, and that's here at virtualbox.org. Um, so from here, you can choose your operating system and walk through that installation. So for example, I'm on a Mac, so I would choose this OS X download here. So I already have VirtualBox installed, so I'm not gonna walk through that, but it's just a simple step-by-step -step process that you click through, just like installing any other software. So after you get that installed, when you pull it up, it should look something like this. So now that we have VirtualBox installed, we're gonna to need to download the Kali Linux ISO file. And we can find this on the Kali Linux uh, downloads page. And also a quick Google search of that uh, should take you to this downloads page. So once we're on this page, we can go ahead and download the ISO file. So I'm gonna grab this Kali Linux 64-bit ISO file. So when I click on this, it should go ahead and begin the installation. And you can see that this is a large file. This is 2.7 gigabytes uh, that it's gonna download here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward until this download is complete. Okay, so once that is downloaded, let's go ahead and minimize our browser here and pull up VirtualBox. Uh, so now we're ready to create our virtual machine. So let's go ahead and choose new here. And let's call this machine Kali Linux. And we can leave the type at Linux. And for the version, let's choose Debian 64-bit. And now we're not going to go into too much detail here with some of these setup options. Basically, we're just saying how much memory and disk space we want allocated to our machine. And this depends on your computer, but you're usually safe staying within these green sections here. So for the memory, I'm going to do 4096 megabytes, which is 4 gigs. And I'm going to leave the default there and the default for the virtual box disk image there dynamically allocated is fine. And for this section here, I'm actually gonna bump the size of this hard disk up to 20 gigabytes. Kali recommends on their download page that you have a minimum of 10, and you could get by with allocating that, but I'm gonna go ahead and do 20 here. Okay, so now the virtual machine is created, but there's one more setting I'm gonna change before we install Kali. So if we go to the settings here, then we can change some of the uh, values that we just set, but there's also a lot of other customizations that we can make. So one change that I'm gonna make here is within the display tab uh, for the video memory, I'm gonna go ahead and bump this up all the way. And this will just improve our performance when we start the virtual machine. Um, so now let's go ahead and save that. Okay, so now we're ready to actually install Kali Linux. So we install this using the ISO file that we downloaded a little bit ago. So to do this, we can select our ISO by going down here to storage and clicking this empty optical drive. And then we can go to choose image. And now we navigate to where we downloaded that ISO file. So I'm already here in my downloads folder. So I'm just gonna choose Kali Linux and open that. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and start this machine and it should take us to where we can install the operating system. For the installation method here, I'm just gonna choose graphical install. Okay, now we can just walk through this setup and a lot of these are going to stay at the defaults. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that for the host name. I'm gonna leave the domain name blank for now. Okay, now we can type in a root password and you have to remember this for when you log in. And here I'm gonna go ahead and choose Mountain Time. So since this is a new install, we're gonna go ahead and do the entire disk. Okay, and at this point we can go ahead and choose yes to write these changes to the disk. Now this may take a second here, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward until this is finished installing. Okay, and we can just leave the default there. And I'm gonna leave that blank. Okay, I'm gonna leave the default there, and I'm gonna go ahead and select that and continue. And now you can see here that it is finishing the installation. 
Okay, so now it says that our installation is complete, so let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so once that is finished installing, then it should come here to this login screen. Um, so we can just log in with the root user, and we can use the password that we uh, created whenever we ran through the installation. Okay, so now we have a fresh install of a um, Kali desktop, uh, but we're not quite done. So one thing that you're going to want to do is to install uh, guest edition software. So guest edition software will fix the display settings so that you can use Linux in full screen and it'll allow you to share directories between your host computer and the VM and it'll also allow you to share your clipboard which means you'll be able to copy and paste back and forth between your host computer and the virtual machine. So for example right now if I make this full screen then you can see that it doesn't take up as much of the screen as we would like. And it has all this wasted space that it could be using. And guest editions will fix this. Now, if you watch my video on installing Ubuntu in VirtualBox, then you would sit, know that um, you could just come up here to devices and do insert guest editions CD image, and it's super simple. But with Kali, that doesn't exactly work. And if you search for um, installing guest editions for Kali and their own documentation uh, they have the preferred method for how they would like you to do it. So you can see here that it says to start your Kali Linux virtual machine open a terminal window and use these following commands. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up terminal and we're not going to be able to copy and uh, paste back and forth between our host and our virtual machine yet so I'm just going to go ahead and type these out. So I'm going to do an apt get update. And once that's finished, I'm going to do an apt get install. And we want to install with a dash Y option. And we will do virtualbox dash guest dash X11. Okay, so once that's finished installing, then we can go ahead and type in reboot uh, to allow those changes to take place. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and minimize my browser here and uh, maximize that. And we can go ahead and log back in with root. Okay, so once that's done, now you can see that when we're in full screen mode that the VM uses all of the space that it didn't use up before. And if we go to view here, then you can see that it is set to auto resize guest display. So we do have um, those guest additions installed and working. Okay, so now you should be good to go. So you have a working, fresh installation of Kali up and running. And if you ever want to follow along with any of my command line tutorials, then you could just come in here and open up the terminal. And you could uh, just start typing in commands and trying things out. Okay, so I think that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask in the comment section below. And I'll do my best to answer those. If you enjoy these tutorials and would like to support them, uh, then there are several ways you can do that. The easiest way is to simply like the video and give it a thumbs up. And also it's a huge help to share these videos with others who you think would find them useful. And if you have the means, you can contribute to the channel through Patreon. And there's a link to that page in the description section below. So be sure to subscribe for future videos and thank you all for watching.